So what is all the fuss about the Spyderco Triangle Sharpmaker? And is it a sharpening system worth owning? While the Sharpmaker was Spyderco's first ever to market product, they are primarily known as a knife company. So is this production unit still relevant? Let's take a look and find out today. The MSRP for the Sharpmaker is currently $105 on Spyderco's website. Street price for retailers is going to range anywhere from $70 to $90. I'll put a link in the description below for a competitive price. Before we get started, let me introduce my Spyderco Tenacious. In the spirit of brand harmony, I have to use a Spyderco product to open up the Sharpmaker. The Tenacious is a great choice. I've had my Tenacious for a couple years now, and all I can say is it is one of the best everyday carry knives you're going to find for the price range. They can range anywhere from 40 to 80 bucks, and they are worth every penny. They are imported, but the fit and finish are as good as any of the USA made Spydercos. Link in the description below. All right, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and cut to the chase. Cut. <laughs> Dude, that looked way too easy. Oh uh, yeah, right. So inside the package we have precisely what we saw outside the package. And that is an all ABS plastic base and cover containing two sets of high alumina ceramic sharpening stones, one pair of brass protective rods, one instruction booklet, and an awesome DVD featuring Sal Glesser, who is the founder and owner of Spyderco, and who knows more about the sharp maker than the entire population of the world combined. We are in good hands, folks. And this concludes the unpackaging of the triangle sharp maker now we're going to take a look and see how this stuff actually works disclaimer if you're anything like me and you despise reading instruction manuals and hate asking for directions or instruction etc you will be pleasantly surprised with the makeup of the Spyderco manual it is colorful and full of pictures and very straightforward. Let's skim it real quick. Um, yeah. Now what? All of the unpackaging and preparation is done. We now have a nice self-contained system. Let's pop it open and set it up. The Sharp Maker comes pre-configured with two sets of angle slots. One is the 30 degree back bevel configuration and the other side is the 40 degree inclusive angle. I'm going to be setting this up, putting the safety rods in and going for the 40 degree because I want to try to tune up this knife. They recommend or the recommendation would be to use the 40 degree for everyday carry and occasionally, maybe once every 10 sharpenings, go for the 30 degree to give it a nice reinforced back bevel. So what sort of condition is my Tenacious in today? I've had this knife for a couple of years now and haven't really ever sharpened it officially. Um, most of its effectiveness comes from that wonderful flat grind. I've only used it for cutting tape and cardboard packaging, but I'm anxious to see how it does. This is sort of a non-scientific attempt to slice some paper. Let's see how we do when we sharpen it. Spyderco's default formula for sharpening a knife with the sharp maker is a four-step system. Step one involves shaping the blade. Step two achieves a utility edge. Step three gives you a honing. And then step four achieves a razor-like surface. We are now ready to turn this butter knife back into a tenacious as it should be. Start by putting the cover plate over the 
base of the unit which acts as a nice handle for stabilizing the system and step one will be holding the knife perfectly vertical and dragging it along the corner edge of the stones steps one and two will be using the darker medium grit stones steps three and four will be using the white finer stones so hopefully by the time we get to stage four we have a spider coat tenacious that is up and running like it should be extremely sharp now ready to access step two which is simply rotating the dark stone to the flat surface and this will give you an even sharper edge step two achieves a utility edge all right step two is now complete we pull out the dark stones and bring in the fine white stones and we have those with the corners facing towards the knife this is step three and again knife perfectly upright dragging along the edge and step three will give us a honing effect Can you guess what step four is? Yep, you basically rotate to the flat side of the white stones and repeat the exercise. Try to keep that knife as straight as possible. And again, I, I'm not using a lot of pressure. The instructions, or some folks have said, you do two to three pounds of pressure so nothing excessive as far as the amount of effort it takes to consistently drag the knife across the stones to get an even edge how did the sharp maker do well let's give it a whirl here my tenacious versus a piece of scrap paper edge looks pretty nice and I'm very happy with how this is running through this paper. Again, not scientific. I can just tell you that it's cutting a lot easier now. Pretty nice. So what else can we do with the sharp maker? There's a pivot hole on the side of the unit that allows you to insert your sharpening stones to achieve a perfect 12 and a half degree angle, which is ideal for sharpening scissors or shears. Let's give it a try. I can easily see myself running around the house trying to find things to sharpen with this system. Not only can you use the base for different configurations, but you can also pull the stones and use them externally for smaller instruments like screwdrivers, cuticle scissors, that kind of stuff. Just like new. But wait, there's more. You can also lay your stones flat side up on top of the base, which gives you a different configuration for freehand sharpening of odd-shaped items. Another option is you can actually flip the base over and there are two channels on the underside that you can lay your stones flat side up, which gives you a more traditional flat stone tabletop configuration. This might be practical if you were going to try to sharpen a larger tool like a hatchet or axe head. One nice thing about this system is if you don't want it to be portable, it is pre-drilled so you can bolt it down to a workbench or to a table. So that's very nice if you're doing a lot of sharpening. 
Otherwise, it's a very mobile, lightweight system. In closing, what are my final thoughts on the Spyderco Triangle Sharpmaker? The Sharpmaker is a USA-made product, and it's an American success story. It was, again, the first product that Spyderco ever brought to market. They made things sharp before they made sharp things, and I am sold. I think it was a great purchase, and I'm very happy and would highly recommend it to anyone that's looking to keep their knives in tune, whether it's everyday carry knives, whether it's kitchen cutlery, I highly recommend you check out the Sharp Maker. That said, if you have a blank piece of steel or a knife that is catastrophically out of whack, you might look elsewhere for a, a deeper system that can do a little bit more aggressive sharpening. Uh, such as a mechanical or powered system. But you can certainly add this to that arsenal, and I think there you know, is a place for the sharp maker on your workbench. I hate to give things scores, but if I had to, I'd say it's an easy 4.5 out of 5. Excellent rating. Definitely going to add this to my list of essentials. Check out the Spyderco Triangle Sharp Maker. Thanks for checking me out, and I'll see you next time.